call them second division, but is it really a second division? Is it yeah, it's a second division. Yeah. As far as the level goes, it's... Yeah, it's a second division. It's not even close. Um, you know? And, uh, but again, as you go through these tournaments, you start to mix up the team a little bit, and, uh, you know, that can, that can be the di difference, and that, that can end up equalizing these, these games. And, uh, but we had a team out there that was, you know, that's as good an Open Cup team as I've ever put out there. It's the moment I've dreaded for years here on Football Americas. Are we going to have to tell Ben Olsen to get lost? You know who already did it? Uh, our boy Roro. Did you see the tweet that he had about Ben? I did. I did. And he's wrong. He's wrong for the tweet, just yes. as Ben is wrong uh, in what he said. Listen, um, let me tell for you those what. those who didn't see it, Roro, Roro, yes. uh, Roro said that Ben would have been a USL League One player in his day. Yes. So he was a World Cup veteran and. Uh, Shots fired. Yeah. There. And played in a championship team. That DC United, which is. Mm -hmm. Till today, DC United's best team ever, and not even close. I think all the uh, teams. Are... Don't take your shots. No, I'm giving I'm giving that team their props of how great of a team it was. L let me start really quickly. Um, Ben's terribly wrong. He should get lost. Um, and and why he should get lost? And I've said this many times. You know, I've Ben get lost many times here. It's no issue. Uh, you've got more of an issue with it than I do. Um, Ben's a good guy, but he crosses the line in how he says it. You don't say it after you, the defending U.S. Open Cup champion, lose at home in front of an empty stadium, a stadium you can't even fill with one of the best lineups in Open Cup that you have done yourself. You have put on the field to a team that comes into your house and takes it to you after you were up by multiple goals. Do you know why you don't do that? Because it's petty and it screams of mm. sour grapes. It's just a bad look. Take the L, my man. Take the L, bro. Go home. Detroit City... Everything. Give them all the credit in the world. Some of those goals in that game, golazos. The way they took, what is it, 12 rounds of penalty kicks? I watched the end of that game. Unbelievable uh, showing by Detroit City. Hats off to Detroit City. But can we please for a second, for a second, not make this that there is a small gap between USL and Major League Soccer. That's not the case. It's simple money. There is a gap, an evident gap, because it's simple money. So much so that the last time a team in the, I was going to say A-League, USL had won. It was 1999 with the Rochester Rhinos. Since then, it's been all Major League Soccer. This is just as petty and off-base as the Liga MX versus MLS. You know, we've surpassed Liga MX conversation. No, you haven't. No, it's not even close right now. It's money. And it's, it screams and uh, this insecurity by American soccer fans to feel validated. You don't need anybody's validation. What Detroit City did, what Sacramento did, the Sacramento Republic did, and getting to the final versus Orlando, forcing Orlando to cheat in a public park because they were so worried about this team, take that. Own mm. that. That is you. But don't make this a USL versus MLS thing because it's just money. It's just simple economics. Yeah. I mean, Houston had everything to their advantage in this game, right? I mentioned they were up 2 nothing in the first half. They held a lead with 10 minutes to play. I think Detroit's equalizer was scored in the 83rd minute. They were at home. I mean, you mentioned there wasn't much of a crowd. There would have been a way better crowd uh, had this been game, in, game been in Detroit. But still, you're at home. You don't have to travel. It's midweek. Everything's set up for you on top of all the financial. I mean, you, you talk about the differences in, in kind of finances here. Houston's got a billionaire owner. They just sold the, the team a few years ago. Five years ago, uh, Detroit City FC was, forget USL, forget NISA, where they came from before that. They were in the NPSL, Herc, which is semi-pro fourth division, right? So um, Detroit City, to your credit, we're going to give them credit. Uh, they've come a long way here, and I think they deserve a lot of the shine for this. But I think the biggest issue I have with Olsen's comments is that it's not just dismissive of USL. It's dismissive of the question. And I think, Herc, that the question is a valid one. Because there's not really a single MLS team that has earned their first division status through play. Like, you can point to the Open Cup record and say MLS is greater than USL, but you can't point to a competitive system that has told us that every single MLS team on the field has earned its position in the first tier, and that's why they're better than the teams in the second tier. The reason MLS teams are first tier and USL teams are second tier is because the criteria that the Federation sets has nothing to do with how you play. It has to do with where your team is located and how many people live around that metropolitan area. 
and it has to do with how much money are in your owner's pockets. So there, there is a question to be asked here. For Ben to dismiss the question is where he misses the mark. If he wants to say, hey, I believe the gap is this, or I believe the gap is that, you're right. It comes off as a sore loser when you do it after you go out in penalties. But I mean, to dismiss the question? Come on. Yeah, Come on. We, we, we don't know her. Yeah, it's, we it's, don't know that well, the system I, I will, I will remind you. I will remind you that USL franchises are bought as well. There is no you earn your right into USL. So they are bought as well. But you are absolutely right. Like, And what gets me is... Why can't you just enjoy the Open Cup? You don't watch the FA Cup and, and think the magic of the Cup when there's a lower league team that beats a Premier League team. You don't start questioning the level. You just enjoy the competition. Know. Because we know. Because yeah. you know a second division team is there because that's where they deserve to be. That's Sp the problem fine, Zeb, But you're, de you're defending Mexico. one side by ignoring that USL is the exact same version of that, just lower in terms of spending. Right. But we're yes. talking about the first tier here. Correct. This guy's saying it's a it's a big gap, and of course you got to buy your way anyway. I'm just I'm just curious. I'm just curious. I'm you just like curious. You're saying you don't. You're saying you don't know. You're saying you don't know. But you're. Are you telling me that there's not much of a gap? Is that what you're telling me? I'm saying it's a fair question. And no, I no. Think I'm just curious. I'm just curious of what you feel. I understand you feel yeah. it's a fair question. I'm curious of what yeah. you feel it is. Uh, give me the two teams. Which two teams do you want me to compare? Because I can't compare the leagues. That's the thing. That's what they're comparing, Seb. That's the, that's the whole argument. This is why the argument is stupid. They're not comparing the lowest MLS team to the highest USL team. They're comparing the leagues. That's why the argument is stupid. Stupid argument. Let's leave it there. Shout out to New Mexico <laughs> who beat RSL and to uh, Louisville who almost got Let's past go. Seattle but uh, fell in a penalty shootout.